What's up guys, Zalf here back with some more on Muji and today we're going to talk about cleave teams. So what's a cleave team? I'm going to show you guys. Um, let's pick someone. Let's try test one. I have no idea whether we win or not but... Essentially a cleave team will be a team where you have two attack bar buffers. In this case I have my Kamaitachi here, my bunny here. And I have two DPS in terms of Otengu and I'm borrowing Mother's Ubume. Then I have a Lighter and I have Kagura to give more damage. So essentially, we'll try and kill them in, well, within our first turn. So what you need to do is you need to outspeed them. Alright. So this is like an early game cleave team. Right. It might not work later on, but for now it works. So basically your first attack bar buffer moves, then your second one, then you give orb so that you can use some skills, your first DPS moves. So basically we just cleave right through them. Then Kagura is there to give more turn to your um, DPS and also to attack again. And then finally you have your last DPS to clean up. Alright, so this is for, I guess it works really well for early game, but as as you go up, um, as you progress, it's going to be tougher because people start to use like better soul sets and they start to have their supports with like uh, at, at grade 6, grade 5, etc. Show you guys again, let's see, uh, basically this is how we do it. Again, we move the attack bar once, move it twice, give orbs to ourselves, attack. Uh, it might not always work, but in early game, usually it would work like 90% of the time if you can outspeed. Um, because early on, not everybody has like a high HP, tanky defense, or they're not even going to bring it for offense. But I've noticed like in duels, I'm already stuck at rank 30-ish and what's this, people are starting to get tanky like grade 5 supports, I myself have been moving on to grade 5 supports, I just made Momo grade 5. So let's have a look and see what kind of souls we want to put on them. What do we have there? Quad reward, alright. Cool. Let's have a look and see what kind of souls we want to have on them. So, Kamaitachi. Um, I use this as the first attack bar buffer because he has higher base stat, uh, base speed stat than uh, Bunny. Bunny is at 115, whilst Kamaitachi is at 117. So, I currently have him at plus 105, which makes it 222 speed. Um, it's pretty slow right now and trying to break to like top 20, top 10, it's a bit slow because everybody's like at least 235 speed onwards. Now I'm still at 222 so I'm stuck in like between the 50s to 30s. I'm pretty sure like tomorrow onwards it'll go even worse because people will get just get speed up even more. So basically you don't even have to have fortune sets, you know, you can do broken sets, that means any any set, any set that you want, as long as they have speed subs. So preferably you want to have a slot 2 with speed and a speed sub inside, which I don't have, unfortunately I don't have, this is my only grade 6 um, slot 2 with speed. So I don't have another one that has speed and a speed sub, so there I'm missing like, what, potentially another 18 speed from there. Well, nobody's gonna have asked for like 18 speed, huh? 10 to 15 would be great. Hmm, it's 10. Here's 11. We have 8 here. 11 here. They got 7 there. So I've got like 2 that's that could be improved further. Or actually, all of them could be improved further, but right now they're just not dropping for me. Then the second one has to be about 76% of the first attack bar buffer speed. So right here, my Kama is at 222. Let me pull up a calculator. 222 times by 76%. It's about 168. 
So, 168.72. Here I have my second attack bar buffer at 115 plus 55, it's 170. So, it's above the 168 cutoff. Because of that, I can run slow for the rest of them, right? So, after I have my two attack bar buffers, I then move on to Zashiki. So, Zashiki is, let me tell you, her stoles are horrid. There you go. Plus zeros. Plus zero everywhere. I'm running an Azure set on her because I want her to have like three orbs every time she takes a turn. So I have a plus 22, 20 and 2 here, plus 22 speed slot 2. And essentially that's it. Like, And the rest of them have like plus 2 speeds, I guess. Well, some of them do. This one doesn't. <laughs> I need to improve on this. But so far it's been working for me in like Soul 10. You know, I can bring her everywhere and she works. So yeah, I, I'm, I even have her still at like grade 4. But of course, in a long drawn up fright, this will not work. But if you're trying to cleave, basically, cleave is like a YOLO team. You know, you only live once. You know, YOLO, you, you either try and, you know, hit a home run or, or die, you know, get die trying, you know, right? So you like either kill them all or you die. Then the, what we have just now, one, two, three, then here's my DPS, basically DPS. Well, nowadays people have selections for selections for DPS. So we've got people like Utengu, uh, you've got people like Ibaraki Doji, you also have people like Ubumi, um, Yotohime, which unfortunately I don't have. Who else can we have as DPS? Well, you can use Shuten, but Shuten is like a single target damage dealer. I'll talk about him when I talk about counter teams, uh, which I'm trying to build soon. But now I'm just talking about the cleave team. So who else can we use as a cleave? Um, well, the rest you you can you can research on that. There's a lot of other AOE damage dealers, right? And uh, technically, if you use Ibaraki Doji instead of Tengu first, it's much better. You know, if, if you use Ibaraki Doji, then you put on a shadow set. I do have a shadow set, but it's like pretty shitty. Uh, my stats are pretty bad. It's He's not even grade 6. So at grade 6, he does a lot of damage because the base attack goes to... Let's, let's find somebody who has an Ibaraki Doji. Hmm. I don't have anyone in my buddy list running an Ibaraki Doji. Yeah, we do, we do. Uh, we have Shredder. You know what, let's try it, Shredder. Um, is his speed fast enough? Yes, his speed is fast enough. Okay, let's try Shredder. Right, let me show you guys. Uh, we got Shredder. Okay, we got Shredder there. Show you guys an example. This is an excellent example because he is so faster than mine. Mm, but he might be faster than my... Like, never mind, you know what? We'll just try it just hit it I just want to prove a point so now Ibaraki Doji I think no I would have used up the realm things Ugh, too bad I mean if I haven't used it then then we could have just tried it you know like I would have showed you guys how it is but I didn't plan this properly <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Because <laughs> Ibaraki Doji does like a shitload of damage. Like, he does uh, he does a single target. Like, I've seen 60, 80k, you know. Um, 60k especially against me. Let's see his skills. Let's see, let's see his stats at, at like grade 6. Okay, going back to friends. Co op Shredder's Ibaraki Doji. So he has 3216 base attack, right? And um, th this is an early game build with 100% crit rate. <coughs> Later on, you might want to move instead of using like a crit rate slot 6, you want to have a crit damage slot 6, but you also want to have high crit still. And he does like ridiculous amounts of damage. That's doing damage equal to 263% of his attack. Hmm. So if his attack is 
I don't know, the multiplayers, I have no idea what the multiplayers are, but I know they, they hit really hard, okay? Um, so, essentially, that's the basic cleave team, or the current cleave team that people have. Uh, from what I've noticed so far, while going into duels and, and fighting in realm raids, that's what I've noticed. So, if you found this video helpful, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Zaf signing out then. I'll post another video one of these days for the counter team once I'm done with it. It's, it's not done yet, so basically my counter team will consist of shooting, um, I, I G fight Momo, so shooting Momo, I, ideally I want to use like Ibisu, but Ibisu skills not there yet, I need like two more Ibisus to scale up this card banner right here, so that it becomes like 60% of his health, so I'll be running like um, shooting, Momo, Shuzu, Hito, how many is that? One, two, three, four, and another one. What will I put for another one? Amiona. I'll probably run Amiona or Samurai X. Either one of these. Uh, Amiona is excellent for dispelling, but you know what? We'll talk about this another time. So, yeah, this is Zuff signing out then. Till next time, guys.